name is Melissa Lewis. I'm a freelance reporter. Is there somebody from press relations that I can speak to? Here. Typically, there's somebody an IPO that I should be able to speak to. You probably have to call the and ask for a PIO. Okay. Is the park closed? No, no. Park's open. Park's open? Park's open. Okay. This doesn't seem like an intimidating way to have a park be open. If you want to ask any questions, contact the PIO. Okay. The park is open. Okay. Thank you. A little cold. Expect you're feeling the same. Was this in in anticipation of a crime, or did a crime occur? Sorry. Just, uh, we did have a presence out tonight. So it's a show of force. I wouldn't call it that. But force would indicate that uh, you know we were uh, somehow presenting a. Fair enough. Yeah. But, you know, we're, no, we're specifically out in the middle of what's been going on. I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, but I mean, force coming out with uh, less lethal, that seems fairly forceful. They're not aiming at people. There's no direction at this point, right? It's just people outside at this point. In position. But I mean, you've been hit with one of those, right? I have. I mean, it's pretty forceful. Like, coming out with them, like, you know. It's well, saying like having something with you and using something with you. Sure, but I mean the the uh, the insinuation there is like yeah. f around and find out, right? Yeah, I mean I understand what you're saying. But... Yeah, so I mean saying it's not a show of force is it's it's kind of. Eh. I mean I've uh, I've been doing this job for a long time. I always have a gun on my head. But, sure. You know. Count on one hand the number of times I actually had to pull it out, you know. Definitely, so, definitely, you know. yeah. You know. But I understand where it's going. Yeah. So uh, uh, to me, a show of force would be uh, when when there's an intention or at least a threat to leave something as opposed yeah. to leave possessing something. Yeah. When I worked for the DOC, just coming out and like establishing a line and having a certain like physical posture and i would agree with you on that too yeah i believe that you know because then you 
you know, obviously using your presence as a... Yeah. Just like, look how many of us there are. Right. They're not six feet from each other. Look, they're not six feet from each other. But yet you're mad at, you yell at us? Uh, so you got, are we just like holding here or is there a point where people are going to be allowed officer, to assemble? But the officers can yell at us. Well, we're, not, we're holding. I mean, people are allowed to assemble. They can assemble right now. I mean, we're not stopping people from assembling. What the police? Are they low? Oh, I know, but I mean, So there's a uh, stop the steal rally with the conservative side in Salem tomorrow. No, I know. But like, just as an example, when they assemble tomorrow, and it will be an open carry event, are they going to have this amount of discouraging illegal activity in Salem at the Capitol? For sure, but these guys do. They do. Um, and I don't know what intelligence they have that would indicate that there may or may not be issues. Mm -hmm. um, you good? You good, buddy? Security over here. So. Um, I know that there is a constant on what we feel is, or I can say even we, but I don't necessarily make that decision. Sure. But the uh, appropriate uh, decision makers within the uh, bureau in the city mm -hmm. that make determinations based on information they receive. Uh, a lot of it will be, you know, what, what behavior are these people exhibiting at the time that we are mm -hmm. around, uh, you know, that our presence raising those issues are going to be, are we deterring? You know, if we held each other accountable, it wouldn't have to be out there in the cold. Stopping certain criminal behavior. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that go into play. I mean, I mean, so, for me to say uh, that I don't believe in my experience in my that uh, when officers are dispersed to uh, do some kind of crowd management, um, the message that that group is there to, you know, to voice this protest it has no bearing on whether or not, you know, where what our actions are. Our actions are solely based on... You're worried about a fucking baseball bat? What the fuck so, is that? Um, why do you got that, eh? What somebody would consider a right wing or a left wing, you know, ideology comes out and, and decides to protest. Um, that has nothing to do with how in any training or any um, meeting or any briefing that I've ever been in my career, that's never been uh, something that comes up. That's not uh, not even a discussion to be honest. It's going to be a reaction to behavior, crowd behavior, mm -hmm. individual behavior. Yeah. Can you see, based on past experiences, on how crowd control management has gone from, uh, like, Proud Boy rallies versus uh, Antifa rallies, how maybe there's been some mischaracterizations there? So, you know... I, I can understand it. I understand it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't change anything. Our, uh, our job, you know, what we do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, think that people feel like they have the right to assemble underneath conditions like this? When people are in riot gear? Does this look like the park is open to an observer? Because I mean, even I had to check. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't see anything that uh, would indicate there's no barricades up. There's no guys. I mean, 
I mean, there's people there's sidewalk. people with batons out, like. And I only felt like I could approach because technically I have a TRO that says that you're not allowed to hit me with that. And I, trust me when I say I have been hit with that. You know, so it's like, I would say that like, even a civilian that's not involved in that would say like, oh shit, I'd better not go in there. Well, but it looks yes, like you're you moving on, but I appreciate your time. Mask. You get on you us. You get on us for wearing a fucking mask, but you don't have your mask on. Where are you going? They didn't tell you? Hey, Fred, no. exciting times, right? <laughs> you look like a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you in your army clothes. <laughs> yeah, you you might want to free the zoos instead tonight. Uh, there are only a handful of people here because, uh, they swept the park before the meeting time. Uh, no, I did not see anybody getting arrested. I did not see any indication that anybody got arrested. Uh, the cops on bikes. I actually saw 31 on a bike. I saw John Oliphant on a bike. Uh, so I don't know if regular RRT got put on bikes. Um, or what? know if I've ever seen him before but admittedly it would be hard to recognize them in different gear and those are different helmets tactical banana I love that who would I call if someone broke into my home No, the guy that talked to Eric's and me was, uh, like, really young and, uh, really handsome, I guess. Uh, so what's up tonight? There was a, uh, meeting at Director Park 20 minutes before anybody was supposed to meet, uh, riot cops in vans and on bicycles rushed it yeah the one from the fence he was like uh yeah he was like good looking which is weird to say about a cop that's not it looks like over there they have like a box for mutual aid Um, I want to try and talk to somebody from Mutual Aid that was here. I'm live. Do you want to say what happened? 
Well, I would prefer you speak to someone. Talk who... to Justin. Justin, who is here? Yeah, I wanted to talk to somebody from mutual aid. But yes, will you tell what happened? Do it, Justin. Uh, well, Justin was actually here well, first, yeah. so go ahead. Justin, you kind of have to. You're the first one here. True, true, true. true. Justin, will you? Why don't you take him aside? He wants some privacy. Yeah. I don't need privacy. I mean, I ain't scared to say it in front of everybody. You know? I mean, I ain't scared to say it in front of everybody. So basically what it was is I got here right when Snack Lady got here. And as soon as I got here and walked across the street over to her, the, both the, the, uh, all four of the cars and the, the state troopers pulled up and then the Portland po Portland police bicycle cops pulled into the park and started circling the park and everything. And uh -huh. then they came up over here when we're on the sidewalk starting uh, messing with those. It was like, oh, it's nice to see I, all these familiar faces and everything and kept bugging us and everything. Wouldn't leave us alone and everything. So a lot of us, is we don't know what to do right from here now. And then they a couple of police drove past here and they have their riot gear on and everything so i mean it's like they're they're ready and waiting for something <laughs> did you hear that yeah <laughs> See, they're driving around with gear oh on. i know they're geared up True. so did they perform any arrests did they go no, hands on on anybody not yet right now basically what they're doing is just sitting right there in the corner just sitting I think what they're doing is trying to scare people to make them want to leave, but a, a lot of us aren't leaving. Yeah. So they told me that the park was open. And it, I asked them how anybody could interpret that the park was open with this kind of show of force. True. And we had a little bit of dialogue about what show of force means. <laughs> and uh, that sort of thing. And I asked if they thought that a civilian would think the park was open based on this kind of image. Um, and they said, probably not. Do you think a civilian would think the park was open? No, most of us probably wouldn't even think that the park is open because with all of them standing in the park, nobody really wants to go in the park with a bunch of cops sitting in the park. You don't know what they could do. They could no. say it's open in the last second arrest everybody in the park yeah like it's like me i don't say i don't even want to go in that park right now with them right there yeah uh and so i i also asked them if a crime had been committed or if uh they were here in anticipation of a crime and they said that they were here in anticipation of a crime to, I think oh, they're here just to try to te Every, try to piss us off and make us want to do something, and they're trying to stop us from protesting. But we haven't even do, did anything. We just got here, and, and they always say that we're the one that start everything out here when they're actually the ones that start the whole issues because they come and try to disrupt us when we're out when we just get out here and we're peacefully protesting and then they try to ruin everything and piss us off yeah yeah that's a pretty incredible precedent it is i was gonna get here right at eight because i had a feeling but uh never would have guessed 20 minutes early and it's always scary it's scary too when you're walking and you just get in here you get off the mat you're walking by yourself and you see them circle in the area and it's like what the hell like yeah Yeah. It's just, it's just scary, but they don't intimidate me. You just got to show them that you ain't scared of them. Yeah. Thank you. I know people were curious and like, I got you're, you're here, welcome. I got here like at 7.55 and I was like, I heard what happened, but I didn't get to talk to anybody. So... Thank you. You're very welcome. 
All right, guys, we're going to shut down the stream. Other people are streaming and I will live tweet from this point on and take some videos.